Okay guys, so the three skills that you need to learn in calisthenics first are as follows. Number one is going to be the L sit because not only is this gonna be such a good exercise to grow your core strength, but also it's gonna give you a very, very solid foundation for anything else that does involve your core in the future. Whether it's exercises that look different to the L sit like the dragon flag or the front lever or the planche, things that require a very strong core are gonna rely on that initial foundation of the L sit. So making sure you can do the L sit is gonna be pivotal in your training and in your calisthenics journey. That's why so many people do the L sit to begin with because this can really transfer over into any other calisthenics skill that you do. There are so many progressions for the L sit, whether it's the tucked L sit, the advanced tucked L sit, the single leg L sit, even the straddle leg L sit, and you know, alternating single leg L sits as well. There are so many. I've probably missed a few as well. And there are also some supplementation skills and accessory movements you can add into your training. Once you unlock the L sit and perfect it, and you're able to hold it for like 20 to 30 seconds seconds you're going to unlock a new level of strength for yourself as well in the process and it's going to be so important for you in your journey moving forward so basically it's definitely worth learning the l sit because you can combine it with other skills as well and other movements it looks cool it's a great foundational skill to learn as a beginner it's not too easy but it's not too hard either and it's also going to help a little bit with horizontal balance but the thing that's going to help more with horizontal balance which you need to be including in your workouts is going to be the bent arm planche or in other words the 90 degree hold so you can call it whatever you want people like to call it the bent arm planche some people like to call it the 90 degree hold it all depends on preference i think the 90 degree hold sounds cooler than the bent arm planche anyway that's besides the point. Let me know what you guys think is the coolest name for that skill and we'll have a little discussion. But anyways, this skill is gonna be so important and pivotal for your training when it comes to every horizontal calisthenic skill, even the more advanced variations like the planche that we just talked about, it's gonna cross over nicely there as well because once you can find that sweet spot in that kind of seesaw position with your body, you're gonna be able to transfer that to so many other movements just like you would the L sit. That's why these two are gonna be so important together in unlocking many, many skills for you even when it comes to 90 degree handstand push-ups or simply just planche push-ups you're in that 90 degree hold position or that bent arm planche position for both of those skills at some point even you know when it comes to the dead stop presses where you go from you know just on the floor straight up into the handstand those kind of skills the cool ones that you really want to learn that require insane strength all come from that base of the 90 degree hold. Even the elbow lever can help to unlock the 90 degree hold, but they can both supplement each other as well. But I'm telling you guys right now, the 90 degree hold or the bent arm planche is going to be so important in your training. So you better start learning it now. There are so many progressions that you can do to build up with, even just doing taps on the floor to begin with, with your legs to get into the position, to correct your alignment, perfect your form and technique. And then eventually you can start to lift one leg off the floor, doing leans into the movement. You can do the straddle version like you would with the L sit, and then eventually go into the full holds for the 90 degree hold. The very last skill is obviously gonna be the handstand. If you wanna be able to do the L sit to handstand or you wanna be able to do handstand push-ups or you wanna be able to do a 90 degree handstand push-up, then you're not gonna be able to do that if you don't learn the handstand itself. That's the most important exercise that you need to be able to do any skill that involves you being upside down, which is essentially, yeah, just a handstand. But there are other skills you can do like the one-arm handstand that you can learn much quicker if you have a very solid handstand base to begin with. And so handstands are literally one of the fundamental skills you have to learn. With all my students, I recommend everyone to learn the handstand as one of their beginner skills. Of course, you can build up to the handstand, doing the frog stand, the crane pose, building up the strength, the balance, Balance to be able to execute the handstand itself. You can also use the wall to do assisted handstands and you can do it both ways. So facing the wall or away from the wall, you can do handstand walks. Anything that's gonna help supplement your handstand, you can do. And obviously accessory exercises like hollow body holes is definitely gonna help with that process of creating the perfect handstand. But all these three skills guys are gonna be important in calisthenics. And you probably saw the skills I was doing today or some of the movements I was doing today. And the reason I can do them is because of those three skills. So if you do wanna to get to a good level in calisthenics, building a solid base is the key. And especially with those three skills, keeping them in mind is gonna get you such a long way 
in calisthenics. And if you're missing one of these, then you're really going to struggle. So I recommend that you learn it now. And if you're stuck on what progression you should be learning or which one you should be doing right now, then I highly recommend checking out the Calisthenians Academy, which is an academy of dedicated people who want to learn calisthenics and level up in their day to day life, fixing their bad habits, getting their nutrition on point, getting everything in their fitness life to the next level. Within the Calisthenians Academy, you guys are also gonna get access to hundreds of explanation modules where I go through individual skills, telling you guys my secrets, tips, and advice that I use to get to the level that I'm at now in really not so much of a long time. So if you're looking to get to that next level in your calisthenics journey, and you're also looking for a coach that's gonna help you get there very, very quickly, and someone who's also gonna be in there to help you with weekly calls, then check Check out the link in the description and I'll see you guys in there. The ones that actually want to be dedicated to calisthenics and they actually want to improve their lives. But for those of you guys that don't want to join the academy, then, you know, fair enough. You're missing out on insane knowledge. On that note, love you guys. Talk to you all very soon and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.